Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Joint Base Lewis McCord. My name is Jason. I'm here on behalf of Go Lewis McCord. I'll be speaking with you today about the three programs within Go Lewis McCord Go Transit, Go Bike, and Go Rideshare. These programs were created to reduce congestion, reduce the carbon footprint, and allow soldiers, civilians, and family members to move about the installation without using their own vehicles. I'm going to talk with you for a few minutes about different options that you have to find information on Go Lewis McCord programs, Go Transit, Go Bike, and Go Rideshare. The map listed on the slide in front of you, you'll see three tabs at the bottom, Go Transit, Go Bike, and Go Rideshare. If you click on these tabs, you'll be able to find more information such as schedules, points of contact, and just basic information about each one of these programs. You'll also find the interactive map on Go Transit. When you click the System Map tab under the Go Transit tab on the website, you will find this slide. To find the timetables for individual stops, you will go to the Go Transit map. You will click on one of the icons, and this is what you'll see. You'll see the departure times for that stop for the time period that you are looking for. You can also click on one of the routes listed below and it will give you all of the stop times for that route. One Bus Away. One Bus Away is a free app for Android and Apple users. You can download it to your smartphone, open the map, and it will give you an icon showing where your location is and the stops nearest to you. When you click on one of the stops nearest to you, this is the information that you will find. You will find the name of the stop, the direction of the stop, a lot of times the number of the stop, and the route that that stop travels on. Below that, you'll see destination and scheduled departures. If there is nothing in that box, that means that that stop is not being operated during that time, please move to another location. Just a few tips on using Go Transit. Please make sure that you are at the stop two minutes prior to the scheduled departure time and make sure that when you see the vehicle coming down the street, throw your hand up just like this, just like you're hailing a taxi. That way the driver can see that you intend to get on the vehicle. Once you're on the vehicle, all you have to do is let the driver know where it is you need to go. They will take care of the rest. The next program that I would like to talk to you about is Go Bike. Go Bike is a free service that's available for service members, dependents age 18 and above, DOD civilians, and contractors. They will provide you with the bike itself, reflective gear, a light, and a lock. All you have to do is show your ID card, sign out the bike, and utilize the bike for up to two weeks. You will notice that we have six different locations, two on North Fort, two on Lewis, Maine, and two on McCord. Please keep in mind, these bikes are not all-terrain bikes. They are road bikes, they are cruiser bikes. They are not intended for all-terrain use. Please do not use them for that. The last of the Go Lewis McCord programs is the Rideshare, otherwise known as the Mass Transit Benefit Program. This program is a joint venture with Inner City Transit and Pierce Transit. These are the two transit agencies that are on the north and south side of JBLM. Both of these agencies have funding and resources available. They could receive up to $255 a month toward travel expenses when you van pool, ride the bus, or take a train in support of the Mass Transit Benefit Program. All DOD employees are eligible for the Mass Transit Benefit Program. On the golewismccord.com website, under the Rideshare tab, you'll be able to find points of contact for all van pool information. With van pools, one of the biggest concerns that people have is what happens if there's an emergency at home and I don't have my vehicle at work with me. Well, this program offers you up to six emergency trips home each year. You can go to the website to find the information on what is authorized, illness, sickness, uh, unexpected ride schedule change. These are different things that are authorized under the program to be utilized as an emergency trip home a year. They'll also show you some examples of what not to use it for. Over the last few minutes, I've discussed with you about the three programs within Go Lewis McCord. If you have further questions, concerns, or needs for information, please visit 
golewismccord.com for contact information. And again, welcome to JBLM, and I thank you for your time. <music>